So you've written a new book. I have a new book. Fantastic. What's the title of the new book? The book is called The Day the World Discovered the Sun. What would you say the basic story of the book? Well, the story of the book is about the Venus transits in the 1760s. I'll get to that in a moment. But mm. it's about these explorers like Captain Cook and Mason and Dixon and some of their uh, contemporaries as they traveled around the world to find the sun. A Venus transit is when the planet Venus passes directly in front of the sun. It only happens about twice per century. And when it does happen, uh, people can measure things like the distance to the sun. They can measure the size of the solar system. The, the fundamental science is there, that, that people wanted to do this because they wanted to understand our place in the universe. They wanted to know how big the solar system is. They wanted to know um, how far away the sun is. But that doesn't have a lot of real world implications. But what does have a lot of real world implications is, is navigating at sea and finding your longitude specifically. And so that is why uh, kings and emperors cared. They didn't care about the astronomical problem, but they cared a great deal about navigation. And they cared about sending their militaries around the planet. And they cared about sending their merchant fleets around the planet and being able to get them to the right places in time. There were more than a hundred Venus transit observations in 1769. We wanted to tell just three. We wanted to pick the observers who had the most important, who got the most important results, who had the most incredible adventure stories in getting there and back, and who were the most interesting characters. And so we picked Captain James Cook, who traveled to Tahiti with the HMS Endeavor. Um, it was his first voyage of exploration, and because Captain Cook did such a bang-up job observing the Venus transit, they sent him out on two other voyages of exploration, um, and Captain Cook, it is said, probably mapped and charted um, more parts of the Earth than any other person in history. Another character in the story is a Jesuit priest by the name of Friar Maximilian Hell. You can't make these names up. Um, and he was sent by the King of Denmark, who was a little bit crazy, actually. That's another story. I shouldn't get into that because we only have 20 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Why am I telling That's you right. about a crazy king? <laughs> what would you like people to take away from reading this book? This book is first and foremost an adventure story. It's the story of the chase. It's the story of partly of getting there, and these incredible characters who are um, who are fascinating in and of themselves, and who are all racing to get to these far-flung destinations on this one day, June 3rd, 1769, the day the world discovered the sun. So it's partly the, it's partly the, the story of, of these amazing adventurers, people who are sacrificing their lives um, to come to understand our place in the universe, our place in the solar system, um, our place in the world.